I feel so excited and it's been such a pleasure to be able to perform for such a wonderful and warm audience and to be back in person performing live in, in such a beautiful town in a beautiful space. It was thrilling. I first debuted at the Color of Music Festival in 2017 and it's just such a beautiful time of just camaraderie with people who look like me and are brilliant in this classical space. Um, I bought my ticket so I could hear the fourth ballad of Chopin, but I have to say the second half with the soprano just stole my heart. <laughs> It was fantastic, so beautiful in this gorgeous space. No, it was absolutely fantastic. Every time I participate in the Color of Music Festival, it's so great to be around musicians who not only look like me, but share the same enthusiasm as me for classical music, when you don't necessarily get that in various uh, you know, different situations. So. So it's nice to be able to, to honor the African-American traditions that have been made to classical music and to just be able to celebrate that and honor that together in this space. It's such a pleasure performing with musicians of such high caliber. You know, it's a beautiful venue, warm audience. It was uh, just a wonderful experience. This was incredible. It, it, it causes your mind to go to the extensions of music. It was unbelievable. I really enjoyed it today. So different. Oh, it was wonderful. It was very diverse, and I learned some things. I thought it was going to be much more traditional classical, and I did, I found like a lot of elements of jazz and Latin. There was a bunch of everything in, in it, so it was really fascinating. But the audience. That made it special. There's nothing you can say bad about today. It was, it was awesome. The energy in the room was, was open enough for me to just have a musical conversation with everybody, and um, I liked it. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was awesome to be able to have an opportunity to hear the music and actually be in this space and hear. Wow, this is such a beautiful place to play, um, and the music. I mean, to play two black female composers back to back. Really wonderful music, um, and my colleagues to play with were just so fun and really wonderful. Um, you know, it was a really wonderful experience, not very often, of course, uh, being a black classical musician, that we get to have an entire festival playing with our community, our colleagues, um, in such a beautiful environment. Oh, it felt very great. The orchestra played incredibly well. The program was very interesting, and yeah, I enjoyed it. Oh, it was a wonderful program, beautiful collection of music, and just wonderful playing. Oh, well, it's always exciting to perform. It's always exciting to perform with, with this ensemble. It's a very unique ensemble, but it also has a very unique sound and a very unique dynamic, and I always really enjoy playing with them. It feels amazing to be back. In this particular hall, I made my debut conducting and leading the Women's Virtuosi in 2017. And to be back five years later, despite COVID, despite everything, it is ah, it's invigorating. Tonight's performance was very inspirational and uplifting. What a treat to have an audience that was so um, both interested and captivated by what we were doing. It was spectacular. It really was. The music was just elegant. Elegant. Elegant, beautiful. The musicians were beyond compare. Delighted. You know, this hall is where we started Color Music in 2013, and the musicians tonight were beyond spectacular. The precision, the programming that Anyango Yarbar Davenport put together with her colleagues was just exquisite. And the icing on the cake was I had my family here for the first time in nine years of the, the, the show. And so having my brother, his children, his grandchildren, and dear friends who have been with Color Music here in Charleston from the very beginning, they came out. And so we're delighted. Thank you. Thank you, Charleston.